name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Sirach. All wisdom comes from the Lord, and with him it remains forever and is before all time. The sand of the seashore, the drops of rain, the days of eternity, who can number these? Heaven's height, earth's breadth, the depths of the abyss, who can explore these? Before all things, else wisdom was created and prudent understanding from eternity. The word of God on high is the fountain of wisdom, and her ways are everlasting. To whom has wisdom's root been revealed? Who knows her subtleties? To whom has the discipline of wisdom been revealed? And who has understood the multiplicity of her ways? There is but one, wise and truly awe-inspiring, seated upon his throne. There is but one, most high, all-powerful, creator, king, and truly awe-inspiring one, seated upon his throne, and he is the God of dominion. It is the Lord. He created her through the Holy Spirit, has seen her and taken note of her. He has poured her forth upon all his works, upon every living thing, according to his bounty. He has lavished her upon his friends. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus came down from the mountain with Peter, James, and John, and approached the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and scribes arguing with them. Immediately on seeing him, the whole crowd was utterly amazed. They ran up to him and greeted him. He asked them, What are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I have brought to you my son, possessed by a mute spirit. Wherever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, grinds his teeth, and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive it out, but they were unable to do so. He said to them in reply, O faithless generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring him to me. They brought the boy to him, and when he saw him, the spirit immediately threw the boy into convulsions. As he fell to the ground, he began to roll around and foam at the mouth. Then he questioned his father, How long has this been happening to him? He replied, Since childhood. It has often thrown him into fire and into water to kill him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you can. 
Everything is possible to one who has faith. Then the boy's father cried out, I do believe, help my unbelief. Jesus, on seeing a crowd rapidly gathering, rebuked the unclean spirit and said to it, Mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Shouting and throwing the boy into convulsions, it came out. He became like a corpse, which caused many to say he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, raised him, and he stood up. When he entered the house, his disciples asked him in private, Why could we not drive the spirit out? He said to them, This kind can only come out through prayer. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel passage today tells us that the disciples were trying to heal a distressed boy, and while they feel, failed to heal him, Jesus did so. In response to their question about why they could not heal the boy and bring the demon out of him, Jesus answered, this kind can come out only through prayer. The suggestion is that the disciples were trying to heal this boy with their own power, but what was really needed to heal the boy was God's power. So if the disciples were to be channels of God's healing power, then they needed to pray more and be in greater communion with God so that he could work through them in a life-giving way. In answer to their question, Jesus points to the power of prayer and the need for prayer if certain kinds of difficulties in life are to be resolved. Some situations in life are so much greater than us, so beyond our own resources to deal with them, only prayer will get us through them. I'm sure that we all know this from our experience on many different levels. When we are between a rock and a hard place in our lives, we can discover that prayer helps us keep going when all else fails. When all our own efforts fail, it is the Lord who keeps us going in our prayerful connection with Him. In faith, we now bring our prayers before our Heavenly Father that all those engaged in apostolic work may be united more closely to Christ, the source of their power, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Lord may direct church and civil leaders to work for that which is best for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, that the Lord may preserve our leaders from self-ambition and our people from apathy towards their civil duties, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember Francis Assisi May, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge our dependence on you. In your love, give your people the gifts which your word has prompted us to ask. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yesterday, news outlets were filled with the tragic news of the death of Bishop David O'Connell, Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, whose life was taken from him in a violent way. We pray for the repose of his soul. We pray for his family, for the people of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, as well as his father, brother priests and Archbishop Gomez. We pray that they will be filled with peace and comfort and consolation at the death of their beloved Bishop Dave. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.